Digital Marine Project, and I'm just going to show you all the different components really quick. So up here in the nose, we have the camera and the two lights, and down here, the ultrasonic sensor. And then moving back here, we have the bridge, which has the ethernet tether and the valve stem to pressurize the hole. And that leads in with the single cord into the hole. And then on the tray, we have a ballast for the front and rear, and then the battery, and the electronics bay. And on the electronics bay, we have the Raspberry Pi, which is directly connected with the serial port to the Arduino Omega, which is underneath here. And then connected to that is all the motor drivers for the steppers, the relays for the lights, the ESC for the brushless motor for the propeller, the ultrasonic driver, and the accelerometer. And there are two sets of powers and grounds, 12 volt and 5 volt, for the different electronics, depending on what they need. And moving back here, we have the tail, which has the stepper motors for the rudders and the brushless motor for the propeller. So here in the nose, we have the lights and the camera, which is shown here with this video display. So that way we can see what the submarine is seeing while we are under the water. As well as under here is the ultrasonic, so that we can see our depth to the bottom of whatever we're driving in. So the Arduino Mega uh, is controlling all of the hardware, which sends its readings and sensor values back to the Raspberry Pi, which is connected through this Ethernet cable, which is 200 feet long, so that we have enough, enough tether to be able to dive uh, deep or far away from where we are on land. And that is connected back to my computer through VNC. And the Arduino is sending this data, which we parse and generate this GUI, which shows the rudder positions, the accelerometer data, motor RPM, the ballast, the, and other diagnostics such as leak status and light and ultrasonic. The submarine is being controlled using this Xbox controller and since we are going to be underwater and won't be able to see the submarine all the time, we have this GUI that is continuously updating to be able to show things such as when I hit A, the light turns on and the light status turns to 1. I can turn on the second light as well and there's that one. And so as well we can you know, move the rudders and you see the left and right move together and so do top and bottom. And so we can move all of those as we wish. The submarine needs to be neutrally buoyant so that it doesn't surface or dive undesirably. In order to achieve that, you're going to weight the submarine so that it is just barely buoyant. That way, we can take on water through these tubes into these cylinders controlled by these linear actuators in order to take on just enough water to become neutrally buoyant. We can do that using our Xbox controller to either increase or decrease ballast. Also, if the submarine either is nose up or nose down, the submarine will calibrate itself using the accelerometer so that if it was to tilt up, this one will extend and this one will retract. The same is true if it is the other way, this one will extend and that one will retract until it is level again. And so that way it will automatically control its front and rear ballast to maintain a level something. The tail has the four rudders which are each controlled by its individual stepper motor and also the propeller in the back which is controlled by a brushless motor. So we control it using the controller so we can go left and right and up and down. And then also the propeller 
which has three speeds, low, medium, and high. 